My character's name is Max Guevara. Um, she's confident. She's a smart ass. She's honest. She's real. She's um, very comfortable with herself, like in an unusual way. She doesn't feel the need to put on a facade for anyone. And the only kind of mask that she ever puts up, it's to defend herself and not expose her heart and the secret she has that she can't tell anyone. But it kills her because she wants to. She's made up of like 25 different people, sort of, the, the genetics of the best, of the best, the smartest in every subject, the, um, the person who can withstand the most extreme temperatures, um, uh, in, in, ev in every aspect, wherever somebody excels, she's sort of made up of the best. And they made this whole um, breed of children that are made up of, of these people. Uh, plus, she has part feline in her as well. So she can see farther and she can see at night. She can hear things and her, her senses are heightened as well. You know, she can. She kind of knows what's going on before it happens. Well, I did 11 months of training, uh, three hours of weight training, and uh, like it was like cardio, and then we do like weight training five days a week with um, this man named Tony Cortez, who is amazing. Uh, I didn't think I could ever get to where I'm at um, without him, and I did gymnastics you know, three times a week, an hour and a half a day, um, and motorcycle training. And uh, I did some kung fu. I went, I went through like three different kung fu uh, dudes to try and teach me how to break it down. <laughs> She's a bike messenger during the day at a place called Jam Pony. And uh, I, that's kind of where her, where she just chills and she's herself and she doesn't worry about, you know, is this person going to do this or that or, or wondering if someone's kind of weird or works for the government. She just kind of like hangs with her friends and lives as normal of a life as she can, you know. She was um, making a delivery and her night job is actually a, a cat burglar because she needs to get money to go pay an investigator to sort of find her route. She wants to find the other kids, you know? She needs a connection. She has that craving for, for some kind of family. So um, it sort of drives her every day. She kind of sees the world from a, a different perspective. She kind of pulls herself away from every situation and kind of looks at everything in third person versus her being involved in, in it and in the drama of life. She's always kind of looking from afar and kind of seeing the big picture. And I don't, I mean, I'm sure there's people who do that at times, but she does it all the time. They have this thing, that chemistry, like you can't choose who you love, you can't choose who you're attracted to. It's like an undeniable thing and she just has that with him. And he, I think he's the only person who kind of challenges her as well, you know, intellectually. And he, he also lives sort of an underground life. He can't really um, have friends and have a family and have these things either because if he's found out about, the government will kill him as well. So they both know this sort of secret about each other and they're the only ones that know that.